Hi boys and girls, can you believe that it's already fall? I hope you had a really fun summer. But now we get to look forward to fall and the beautiful leaves coming down from the trees. Today we're going to read a story called Countdown to Fall by Fran Hawk. It's illustrated by Sherry Niedig. Ten sweet gum leaves, orange, purple, and red, look like bright colored stars as they fall on earth's bed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine dogwood leaves, bright shining scarlet, drifting down, 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 like the tail of a comet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight beech tree leaves, like yellow cat's eyes, float gently down through autumn skies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven pine cones and needles, too, pile on the ground for squirrels to chew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six linden leaves in valentine shapes reflect golden sun in autumn's landscape. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five prickly cases with nuts brown and hard pull leaves along with them as they thump in the yard. One, two, three, four, five. Four craggy oak leaves, yellow, gold, and brown, tumble with the acorns that wear rough, shaggy crowns. One, two, three, Four. Three pointed maple leaves, yellow, orange, and red, bring helicopters with them as they twirl and spin ahead. Each leaf has three points. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oval yellow birch leaves drop two by two by two. Natives use birch bark to build their canoes. Two by two by two. One quaking aspen leaf, yellow as butter, twists in the breeze as it shimmers and flutters. One. Needles and nuts and pods and seeds collect on the ground with the cones and the leaves. Now we are lucky because it's just the beginning of fall. So you're still probably seeing some green leaves on the trees and you're starting to see the beautiful fall leaves come to the ground and they might look brown and yellow and red and orange. And I have been collecting leaves with my daughters when we go out on walks. And I have all different leaves and we've been doing different activities. We've been using our 10 frame. This was the tea Play-Doh mat. We've been using our 10 frame with our leaves. We use, sometimes we use real leaves and sometimes we use artificial or pretend leaves. These also came in your preschool pod pack. We might roll a dice. I got the number two. And then we would fill two spots in our 10 frame and see how many spots remain. Well, if I have two spots full, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots open. So we can use our 10 frame. We also sometimes do patterns with our 10 frame doing a red leaf and then a yellow leaf and then a red leaf and then a yellow leaf. That's one way we play with our leaves. 
Another activity that we've been doing is we have taken a leaf and we put it underneath our paper and then we get a crayon and it works better when the paper is taken off the crayon and we rub over where the leaf is and get a beautiful image of the leaf. You can see all of the veins traveling up the leaf. And another really fun activity that we just found. Now this one works better if the leaf is still green for some reason, but you should try both ways because maybe it'll be different for you. This activity, we use marker and we color right on the leaf. I'm gonna do a little bit of a rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green and blue. Don't forget there's purple too. All right, so I colored right on my leaf and I did a rainbow. And now I'm gonna flip it upside down and press it really well. This is actually a basil leaf, so it smells really nice. And then, I have another image of the leaf. Isn't that beautiful? Here's some others that we just did yesterday. So lots of fun ways to play with nature and art together as we celebrate fall. I hope you're having lots of fun with your preschool pod pack.